Hi everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use time displacement to create some warpy and slit scan type of visual effects. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos and leave a like below if you guys are enjoying these videos. So opening After Effects, I've got a couple things in my project media bin, just some example clips to work with. And I'll click and drag this into my timeline to create a new composition. This is going to work a lot more predictably and how I'm showing you through using a tripod or still frame shot where there's no movement in the camera, there's just movement in the people or objects like this carousel. So now I'm going to go to the effects panel and I'm going to search for one called time, time displacement right here and add that onto this clip. But at the moment, it's displacing off of its own layer. So this can be an interesting abstract visual effect if you want it to but that's not going to give us the result that I'm looking for. In order to manipulate this in a slit scan type of way, let's go to composition and create a new composition, which is going to act as our map. So for the settings, I'm just going to leave it at the same 1920 by 1080 ratio that I'm using. It doesn't really matter what color and everything is. Just press OK when you're ready, and on this new composition, I'm going to go to layer new solid and create a new solid. This is going to act as sort of our mask to use for the effect. So on this solid, I'm going to use a gradient from black to white. So in the effects panel, let's search for generate gradient ramp is what it's called in After Effects. And here you can set it to go from black to white. Now, the significance of this, if you're familiar with layer masks in a program like Photoshop is black, is where the effect is not going to be taking place in white, is where the effect is going to be taking place. So going back to our original composition, we can actually now go back to our project media bin and use this new composition, whatever you called it, drag it into this original composition as a layer. Now when I click on the carousel video clip layer and go to the effects control panel, I can set the time displacement to be. On that composition, whatever you called it, and now I'm talking about these other two settings in here, time displacement and time resolution, it's going to shift over the time one second forward in those white areas. And it's not really going to affect the black areas. So what that does, since it's a gradual gradient, is it creates a gradual bending of time and you get these warpy effects. But the cool part is you can adjust the gradient to be any direction you want. So going back to that original composition, let's take the start of the black point, move it to the left, and this start of the white point, move it to the right. So now instead of up to down, we have a left to right gradient. So things on the right hand side are going to start moving faster as they get over here. And now going back to the original video clip, we can see that in action, it creates this very interesting warpy type of effect when things hit this middle point. So a few things to keep in mind are the amount of time you can always make things. Go more warpy or less warpy. This is basically saying move things two seconds ahead you can get interesting effects at different time intervals. The closer to zero, the more gradual and soft that effect will be. It almost is unnoticeable. And also another thing to keep in mind is the time resolution or the frames per second. By default, it's set to 60. The lower you make this, the more banding you'll see. So, things will look more choppy and blocky, which might not always be desirable if you don't want it. The higher frames per second you shoot your original clip in, then the smoother things will be. This actually kind of looks interesting, but sometimes you don't want to see all those little vertical lines. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial, it showed you some cool tricks and After Effects to play around with. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.